Hello, I am Dr. Indu Khosla. I am the pediatric pulmonologist here at the NHSRCC Hospital for Children in Mumbai, which is managed by Narayana Health. Today I am going to cover a very important topic about a disease called cystic fibrosis. Yes, it's an uncommon disease, more commonly seen in the Western population, and it was believed that it is not seen so commonly in our country. Unfortunately, this disease, though rare, I would not say rare, uncommon, but it is very often missed. And therefore, uh, this video is being created to give awareness of cystic fibrosis and a little bit of knowledge and information about this disease to parents. So what is cystic fibrosis? It is a genetic disease where it comes because of a mutation from both the parents. So if one parent is having a defective gene and the other parent has a normal gene, the child cannot get this disease. So it has to come as a mutation from both the parents. This disease affects the lungs, the pancreas, the liver and the intestine. What it does, it makes the mucus very, very thick. So when the mucus is very thick, the lungs are blocked, clogged, the pancreas is blocked and therefore does not release, inter, uh, release enzymes in the intestine. And because it does not release enzymes in the in intestine to digest food, the child has frequent stools which are oily and sticky and also a child can have liver disease. So children who have cystic fibrosis present very early in life but some can present even later but they typically come with cough which is persistent, cough which is wet with lot of mucus and expectoration and they come with frequent stools which could be oily, sticky. Uh, they also will have stomach ache because of this frequent oily sticky stools. These children can also have failure to thrive. When I say failure to thrive, they do not gain weight the way they are supposed to gain. So these are the common manifestations in childhood. As this child grows older, one can get infertility in adults. So how does this disease occur? This is because of a defective protein called as the CFTR protein, the cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator protein, which is a defective protein which controls, normally controls the movement of sodium chloride and water through the cells of the airways, the intestines, etc. When the protein is defective, the movement of water is defective and therefore the mucus becomes thick. It clogs the lungs, clogs the pancreas, resulting in all these symptoms. How do we diagnose it? There are tests to diagnose it. In the newborn period, we have a, we have a test called as uh, immunoreactive trypsinogen, which is a screening test. Another test that can be done, which is called the sweat chloride test. And then we have genetic tests. How do we treat these children? These children need lifelong treatment in the form of a nutritional rehabilitation because they lose a lot of fat, protein, etc. through their stools. So they need nutritional rehabilitation, they need uh, vitamins, they need enzymes which are normally secreted by the pancreas. Since it's absent, we have to give it externally so that they can digest the food. Then they need chest physiotherapy to clear the mucus from their lungs so that their lungs are free from infection. So nutritional rehabilitation, vitamins, pancreatic enzyme replacement and chest physiotherapy forms the crux of treatment. Beyond this, when they have infection, children will require antibiotics. Lung transplantation is also a treatment modality which can be offered to these children. Thank you.